Hi guys, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today I'm going to be doing an Ulta haul. I already filmed this once before and realized I didn't have my microphone on, so I'm refilming it again. I actually have some more stuff that I got at Ulta since then. It will be a little bit bigger of an Ulta haul. I hope you guys are excited to see what I got at Ulta. But before we get right into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button if you love this video and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified for future uploads. All right, let's get right into the video. All right, so I have my Ulta bag right here. I'm just gonna start from the top and go in. So I'll actually go with the brushes first because they're sitting right on top. So I wanted to get some Morphe brushes because I've never tried them before. And I heard that the quality is really good. I feel like the price is amazing for what you get. And I got four of their brushes. So the first one I got is this like Kabuki looking brush. I have used this, so that's why you can tell it's used a little bit. And I have washed it and it's been fine. Um, so I have the Morphe M6 face brush. So this is one of their face brushes and I just think it's such good quality. Like I said, it doesn't, it sheds a little bit, but I feel like every brush does that when you first buy it. So I really love this for foundation. You can use this for powder. You can use it for whatever you'd like. Like the quality of them feels amazing. The second one I got is the Morphe M536 brush. And this is more of like a blush brush, but you, you can literally use these as anything. I actually did my aunt's makeup for her wedding over the weekend. So I did use this for her blush. I love this one too. And I have washed this and this one actually hasn't shed as much as the other one. So it kind of tapers off and I just think it's perfect for a lot of different things. And I kind of wanted to get new brushes because I always use the same brushes. I want to get nicer brushes than what I have. And then I wanted to get their eye brushes. So this one I actually picked up later than those. That's why it's still in the packaging. And this one is the Morphe M332 brush. It's just a like blending crease brush. And I just thought it was perfect to place color in your crease and just blend it out. I haven't used it yet, but I already know I'm going to like it. It's a little more I don't know why this has some powder coming out of it. That's really weird. Maybe it's dusty from sitting in the store. That was really weird. It's not too dense, but it's not too sparse. I think it's just perfect for doing your eyeshadow, and I cannot wait to use this. The next brush that I got is more of a fluffy brush, and it is the M453 brush. And as you can see, it's more of a fluffy tapered brush. I think it was perfect for after you place those colors in, just blending it out, make sure there's no harsh edges and just making sure that it's perfect. So I really do like this. You can use it for inner corner highlight. You can use it for highlighter. There's just so many purposes, but yeah, I just love how it's tapered and it's not as dense as that other brush. So it, it kind of blends out the color more than placing it in there. And I'm excited to use this. Next is my favorite makeup wipes. My favorites used to be the simple makeup wipes in the white packaging, and I can't seem to find them everywhere, only certain places, and I think they have them on Amazon, so I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go back to the other ones that I used recently, and I really love these. These actually remove it better than the simple face wipes. You know, positively radiant makeup removing wipes. These ones just have a scent to it, so that's why I do like the simple ones a little better, but I think these do a better job. So if you need something to take off all your waterproof makeup with one wipe, then I would definitely try these out. And then I got a, another one of my Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in Light 60N, and I've shown this before. I love this concealer. I actually use it as my color corrector. This shade is perfect because it has a peachy tone at concealing my under eyes. So I will link a video of me using this concealer so you guys can see what it looks like. But this is my favorite. I always repurchase it. I believe it's like $16. Might be a little cheaper than that. But yeah, it's just amazing and it's inexpensive. I feel like I do go through it fast, but I use it every day and it's not super expensive. So I think it's worth the price if you're looking for a good concealer. And it's definitely medium to full coverage. I wanted to get an eye shadow primer because I was doing my aunt's makeup for the wedding, like I said before. I didn't end up using it on her, but I actually want to use this for something else that I saw. I saw somebody do a hack with this. Apparently you put it on your eyelashes first and then you put your mascara on. It's supposed to be like a huge difference. So I do want to try that hack with this. I heard this is good for an eyeshadow primer, but I probably won't use it for that because I use concealer anyways as my primer because I need to cover up the darkness on my lids. So I'd definitely be trying the hack out with this. The next thing that I got is the Milani SPF BFF SPF 30 primer. I have tried this many times, so I decided to pick it up again. 
and I just love this stuff. It's so moisturizing and I wear it every single day. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't irritate my eyes and I just think it's perfect if you're looking for a good primer for your face that feels moisturizing and is perfect under makeup. And then of course I had to pick up another one of my Essence Lash Princess mascaras. This is amazing. I'm going to be trying the eyelash hack with that primer with this mascara. This is amazing. I will always purchase this. It's five dollars. So I also got some palettes. I think I have one other Morphe palette by Jaclyn Hill but I wanted to try one of these palettes. I always see them when I go in because I'm always at Ulta and this is the Morphe Bronze and Metal 9R Artistry palette. So they have different color stories. I always end up going for a bronzy palette or one that's like a neutral colored palette. They also had a neutral one, but I like the colors in this one better. I do like the packaging. It's just simple. I think the colors are really pretty, especially for fall. I think these are going to be amazing colors. I don't know about the yellow if I'll use that one, but we will see. I will try this in a video and it has the colors right on the back of it, which I do like. So I'm excited to try this palette. And then I also want to get a good bronzing palette. Those are the colors it comes with and this is from Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. I was going to get the individual one but I couldn't tell which shade I was so I just decided to go with the palette so as I change shades I can just pick different shades or mix and match them and I figured that was a good idea. So I have never tried Essence bronzers but Essence has a lot of good products. And I got the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I've used this a couple times. I do like it. I don't love it. A lot of people say it keeps their brows in place. I think it does a good job, but not an amazing job. I don't know. I did use it today. Love the shade of it. I just, I'm going to keep using it and see how I love it. It has little fibers in it. So it does fill in your brows if you have sparse brows or if you just need to use this by itself. I did use my e.l.f. instant lift eyebrow pencil and then I put this over it today. I've been looking at this. I have not bought it because it's $15. I did have a gift card so I decided to buy this. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup has three or four different things primer concealer highlighter and bb cream so it's not supposed to be a foundation you can use it as either one of those things of course at checkout i saw this mascara it's called the tartlet tubing mascara and i know tubing mascaras are supposed to be really good and they make your eyelashes really long it's easy to remove at night this packaging is really really pretty i cannot wait to use this look how pretty is that packaging so I got this in black, it's a skinny wand, and I just hope that it makes my lashes long like the Essence Mascara does, but we will see how that works out. And then also another priming product, this is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer in clear, and I'm sure everybody's heard about this, but I definitely wanted to try it. So I picked it up and I want to see if it makes my makeup last all day. The last product is the NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch Brow Tint. Pen and I got the color ash brown. The other color looked a little too warm for me when I was swatching it so I decided to get this and try it out. I don't know if it'll be too much for my eyebrows but it's supposed to give you those hair like strokes so we will see how that works out. All right so that is it for everything I got at Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried out any of these products. I'd be interested to know how you use them, if you like them, if you don't like them, please let me know. I really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button if you love this video, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified for future uploads. All right, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!